Hey friends, Randon here. Today we're going to be taking a look at my newest skyscraper build. Uh, Mega Mach episode, whatever. This is the green one. Now, when I, the idea came for this because I wanted to build up my these dark green bricks. And dark green, they don't make very many bricks. And they're kind of expensive. So I kind of had to stick with some modestly priced ones. And I think it's all the dark green ones are the 1x1s, 1x2s, and 1x4s. At least in this particular build. And this is regular green, it looks a little different, and black, obviously, but that's all the colors. So it sits on a regular 32 by 32 base plate here, it has six floors, the top, which will scroll up a little bit with the traditional MRN antennas, and then the bottom floor in here. Now I think this is kind of an apartment building or something, maybe you see this in like a New York or somewhere, but... It's got these two doors, and this is symmetrical on all four sides here. Kind of roll it around so you can see it. Three. Okay. Problem is, I ran out of bricks, as you can see here. Somehow I counted, well I knew I was going to be a few short, but somehow I miscounted on my want list sheet by about half, so I thought I was going to be about this many short, and instead I'm like, three or four floors short but we'll get that fixed sooner or later but I was excited when I got it finished and I wanted to share it with you so let's break it down floor by floor maybe and dig into how it looks all right well here is the ground floor now, as you can see it's just the simple tiles across the top and the only thing holding it in there is there's a little two by trick two brick uh, plates excuse me at the bottom of each floor that kind of holds it centered and that's all you really need it's got a little support column in the corners and in the middle since it's got these two by three sticking up and the wall is just one stud thick and this is three thick so yeah it's got those columns for support and the various places around it. Alright so now these windows are the same throughout the build. It's just kind of a modular type deal. So you got a one by four tile on the top and you got two of these little lip pieces. You can see, give it some depth, and then you got this little build here with these trans black um, bricks actually, and then more lip pieces on the bottom. And these are just kind of stuck on the bottom of this. And the windows are two studs thick, so it's inside the brick, which you can kind of see back here, and then it sticks out, so that gives it some some depth here. And then I went with the traditional Lego cross pattern that you see on you know, a lot of their builds. They make them stick out, but I wasn't that ambitious. I think that it looks neat just like this. It adds a little touch in the corners. All right. The door, these were supposed to be cones, but they don't make dark green cones. So I thought about getting regular green ones. But I had some extra ones with these one by one bricks, so I figured why not just stick them in there. I think it looks good. And I have the door with this one little stud handle. These are also the dark, or was it trans black? So that's pretty neat. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Now, the one thing I don't like, and I gotta quit designing my buildings like this. As you can see, it's got the, the regular 32 by 32 base plate, and then it overhangs. And I hate that, but I mean, if you, just for example, my thinking behind it, I got this really dusty road plate, would be that it would sit, you know, kind of taking over the sidewalk. So that's here and over there. That's just kind of what it is. But I needed some extra room to make the stairs so I thought about putting them on the ground floor but it just didn't have the right it just didn't look right so anyway that's that floor okay the next thing we're gonna look at is the top floor all right as you can see so what I was saying before it's just got these little plates that fit in the fit right here to hold it in place it doesn't have any jumper studs or anything just holds it in there 
and it's as you can see it's fairly limited i didn't for some reason interlock like you can see here with these ones i should have put a, a one like this down here so they would be offset and interlocked but i didn't do that for some reason in digital design or mlcat not digital designer but that's okay it's sturdy enough as it is all right, so to add a little detail rather than and break up just the plain black, I put these one little studs in here, so that'll be cool. I think if I light this up, I might replace those with trans green and stick a light under them. So that'll add a, a little something extra, I think. We'll see. I don't know if I have any trans green, but it'd be, it'd be neat. I'm still trying to figure out if I stick a light under this, will it turn this into like a fiber optic deal? That would be neat if the whips kind of would glow. We'll see. But then this came down, and then I put these little cheese slopes here to kind of finish off the slope for the roof. So those. That's the roof. All right, and then there's six floors, and they are all identical. So I'm going to take the one off the bottom since it's the one, one of the couple that have a complete set of windows. Alright, so again, it's just a tile, there's no jumpers, if you're not crazy, it, it's fine, it just sits down there and it's, it's not going to tip over. Alright, so on the inside again, rather than doing a full floor and kind of wasting pieces, I, it's not a waste if you'd like to build out your, in, or your insides, but I don't really care about that. And I do have some buildings that are like that, but once I started doing this, it cut the price by like 50%. Just getting all those big plates to fill on the inside, it's expensive. So I just got a little bracing here, and it's, it makes it stable enough. I mean, if you take that off, it's, it's kind of wonky, but with it in there, it's fine. So, and then it's got these one by fours on the corner, or four by fours, excuse me, on the corner. They braced it even more. So that, that's probably good enough. It just holds its shape, and that's all you need, unless you want to fill out the inside. So, now these windows are the same as the base, like I said, but they look a little different in this thing. Well, not really. They look pretty much the same, but uh, this airhead thing to say, isn't it? Anyway, it's still got the brick hatching pattern, the lips and all that, and then try to make the little details you can add just to make it symmetrical. Like, as you can see, the bricks kind of fall in there, and then there's no seams, and then all the tiles are symmetrical, too. I mean, you can't really tell from far away, but I like it. I like it like that. You know, they each their own, but it doesn't really matter. You can use what you got. So, yeah, like I said, all the floors are the same. So we'll eventually put lights in here, but... Not right now, I kind of want to finish all the windows so I know how it's going to look at the end. So let me know what you think. Do you like this? Is there anything you would have done differently? Is there anything you think could, you could add to, to make it better? I would be interested to hear your thoughts. And as always, got to do the honesty check. Yep, it does in fact say Lego on all the bricks. So. Alright, let me know what you think. Keep it real. See you next time. Thanks for watching.